Hello everybody, it's Fu here and today I'm going to talk all about Greedent, the early root squirrel Pokemon that is actually a monster that will decimate teams in the right hands. I definitely overlooked it, I had no idea about its potential until my good friend Dundil Showdown told me how to use it. He saw the perfect combination of stats, move pool and abilities to make this insane set so i can't wait to talk to you about it today but definitely check my friend out we did a video over on his channel on the pokemon showdown simulator where you can use that to battle so check that out but today we're going to break down the set and tell you how to use greedent so that it can take out all of your opponents, it just decimates teams. On the face of it, Route 1 Squavit doesn't seem like it'll amount to much, but I do think it's one of the best early Route Rodents because of all that bulk that they get. So most Rodents are quite frail, but quite fast. These have a massive HP stat, presumably because they love stuffing their faces with berries and just getting really bulky, but that's great for us. Massive HP stat, really nice defenses, and a usable 95 attack stat. Not the most powerful in the world, but definitely usable. This all comes at the cost of speed, they have base 20 speed. Greedon is so slow, it's almost immobile. It's got the same speed stat of Ferrothorn, which actually anchors itself into rocks with its steel spikes. So that's not going anywhere, that's how slow Greedon is. It's like way slower than things like Toxapex and Corsola that seem to be some of the slowest things in the game. So that's crazy, and for most Pokemon that will be quite a detriment. But this thing's bulky enough to take some attacks, so it's not that big a deal, and actually it becomes one of its greatest assets if you pair it up with Trick Room. Trick Room reverses the turn order so that the slowest Pokemon go first, and obviously that means that Greedon will be zipping around the battlefield because it is so slow, and that is definitely what we're going to be using Greedon with today. So you'll need some team support, but with that team support, this thing is such a powerhouse. So you want to sweep teams with Greedent in Trick Room, but base 95 attack, though it's all right, it's not gonna be taking out Pokemon left, right, and center. So how do we go about making this thing an offensive powerhouse? Well, you have to give it the move Belly Drum. It gets Belly Drum, which is such an important move. What it does is it maximizes Greedent's attack stat at the cost of half of its HP. Half HP seems like quite a big cost, but I'll go into how we can mitigate that in a second. But when you maximize your attack stat, that's plus six attack in one turn, you will have quadruple the damage output, which is insane. That means that you can Oko with so many things. You can one hit KO so many things because you're doing four times the amount of damage. And it helps that Greedent has very nice coverage too. It gets Body Slam as a normal type move that benefits from same type attack bonus. So that will be hitting really, really hard. You then have Crunch to hit the ghost types that would otherwise be immune, and you have some other coverage that would hit rock and steel types. So you can go for Earthquake, which is a nice high base battle move anyway, and it will super effectively hit rock and steel types. Or alternatively, it even gets Fire Fang if you want to hit things like Ferrothorn and Corviknight a bit stronger. That's a lower base power move, so generally I think Earthquake is the better option here. So we've got the Trick Room aspect. We've got Belly Drum with some awesome coverage, but how do we put them together? That's where the ability and item come in. It gets the Cheek Pouch ability, which is one of my favorite abilities, and I think it's severely overlooked, and I'm so glad this Pokemon gets it, because it can really show off how great Cheek Pouch can be. What it does is, when a Pokemon eats a berry, they gain 33% of their health back, and that can be with the stat boosting berries or with heal other healing berries. So what this Pokemon can do is go for the belly drum, cut its HP in half, and as long as you've got an even HP stat at the beginning, it'll cut it in half and then you'll eat your citrus berry straight away, which heals 25% of your health. So the Citrus Perry is great for mitigating Belly Drum anyway, but then you add on the Cheek Pouch Recovery and you get another 33% of your health. That's more than 50%. You're basically healing back up to full, which is amazing. And even if Stealth Rock's on the field, you basically get back up to full, which is so good. You basically get a free plus six attack, which is insane. That's just so good. Taking into the fact that this thing is bulky enough anyway, especially on a Trick Room team, you just make it as powerful as possible with the attack stat and all the rest of your EVs go into its bulk. This thing is so hard to take down. So that's basically how this set works. You set up Trick Room and then you get this guy in, go for your belly drum, get your healing off, the opponent won't be able to take you out. You can do as much damage as you, as you can while you're in Trick Room. And when Trick Room wears out, that's not the end of the story because this thing can then Dynamax and its massive HP pool gets doubled 
and it still has that plus six attack. So your opponent will still struggle to take this out even when Trick Room has worn off. It's a really, really great Trick Roomer for that fact. And going further than that, you obviously have to pair this up with Trick Room support. My favorite Trick Roomers are going to support it even further. So one example is Runerigus. This is probably my favorite Trick Roomer at the moment. It's a very bulky Pokemon and it can go for Trick Room and then follow up the following turn with Memento. It knocks itself out and reduces the opponent's attack and special attack stat. And why that's so nice is it means you can switch into Greedent freely, it doesn't have to take any damage because you've knocked yourself out. And also it means that the opponent's even weaker, so when you go for that belly drum and you get your full heal, they'll only be able to do about 30% of your health with whatever attack they go for because they're so weak after that. And that means you've got so much health, you can then, in Trick Room, just decimate the opponents while Trick Room's up, and when Trick Room wears out, you Dynamax and you still have masses of health to continue your rampage on the opponent's team. So frequently Greedent will get three or four, maybe even more KOs per match, which is insane. This thing is so good. Other Trick Room setters that you could use, Hatterene's a really nice one with Magic Bounce because if the opponent tries to taunt you, you can bounce that back at them, so Trick Room always gets set up. I like to focus that on this just to make sure that I can survive that first turn and then I can make sure that Hatterene also has some special attack investment which is really nice. And I also like moves like Light Screen or Charm on this set so again you can try to reduce the opponent's offensive capabilities so Greedent has even easier setup. This Pokemon is just so fun to sweep with because the opponent is staring down a goofy, grinning chonker and they can't do anything about it. Just, I can imagine the sheer desperation as this thing has that toothy grin and you can't do anything, it's just too powerful. So definitely give this one a go. I think the Greedon is severely overlooked and on Trick Rooms, it's one of the best Trick Room sweepers we have in this generation, so certainly try it out. I'm so happy that Cheek Pouch has found a worthy user. That's gonna be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Please go and use Greedon and definitely check out our video over on Dundeal Showdown's channel. That's gonna be all from me. I've been through, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.